Hello everyone and welcome to Rob's Rogues and the Batman Universe. And today we're taking a look at the Batmobile. Uh, the 1993 Batmobile from the animated series, first series. So we are all through the action figures and now we can do some of the other type of toys from the line that I have. I have a few of these. And I say a few, uh, I have two vehicles. I have the Batmobile here plus another one. I do have a third, but surprise... Don't know where it is. It's in my little box of some of my other accessories that will one day hopefully turn up. But I have the Batmobile here. And this was uh, one of the more expensive purchases that I made initially uh, at the time. Uh, I thought it would be really nice to have a Batmobile to have displayed with along with my action figures. And I think for a lot of people... Uh, I know the movie Batmobiles are a lot of people's favorites, but some people really tend to lean towards this as being one of their favorite Batmobiles. And it's a real simple, sleek design and this, you know, nice, big, long car, but there's just something very classic about it that the animators pulled off very well that, you know, even watching the show, you felt like you were looking at a very classic Batman car, and I think they did that again very well and it came out in spades for them and just this you know nice long uh, body to the car as we uh, kind of hit it there it does have the you know typical bat batman symbol right there which you know that's not accurate to the um, cartoon series if I'd had my druthers I would uh, probably have not put the sticker on back in 1993 and just left the sticker off but, you know, it came with it, so I put it on, you know, stickers for, you know, the headlights, which uh, I guess you could see 20 years ago, I didn't quite get it evened up. And I think I even had tried to peel it off initially when I first put it on to try and uh, correct it. So you can see it's a little scuffed right there in the corner. But just a really nice, again, it's, it's a nice looking car and it's just very simple and done very, very well. Uh, I think they really knocked it out. My favorite part has always been the back when you see, you know, the Batmobile drive off. Uh, I, my only complaint I've ever really had with this, I would have loved to be able to put Batman and Robin both in this car and it only seats one of them. I know most people would generally only just have Batman, but I thought it would have been neat if they would have uh, made the cockpit just a little bit bigger for two figures or you know actually giving you a side-by-side -side, uh, vehicle but here's the top part of the car had always thought when I first got it, it what these did these are just you know engine pieces sticking up they do slide and move but I think that's just from where they are pegged in in the uh, top of the car so they don't actually do anything and just a little extra detailing work where you can kind of see where things are riveted or welded together. You can see the dual gas tanks. We can get the camera up here. Turn some light on. The uh, dual gas tanks there. Uh, you do have the cockpit. Which there is no sticker work on the inside or anything like that. I thought that might have been kind of cool. And I was always one of those like, where's the steering wheel? Well, suspension of disbelief. See a little bit of dust in there. He's been collecting dust for 20 years. So uh, a lot of the animated series vehicles do have a gimmick or a gadget. Uh, this has two. So we'll do um, one that most people... Uh, don't, some people don't really point out because they have forgotten about it, but the wheels have the spikes that will come out, and they're always really kind of hard to get out. There's no button to pull them out, but you got the spinning spikes on the front wheels, and it's the same on both sides. So a nice little extra feature there as it turns. You know, the Batman can shred the Joker or Penguin's car or Two-Face's car as it drives through. Um... So those just push in and out. The back wheels do not. They're just a solid piece. So if it wasn't for the instruction book uh, back in 1993, I would have never thought to even pull those out. So that's a nice little gimmick. I think they could have easily done the same thing to the uh, back tires, but they didn't. But again, I think that's cool. The little bat symbol 
in the tire wheel well I thought was always a nice touch. And whenever I had it on my shelf, I always tried to make sure I got both of the wheels in the same look. So when it stopped, all the, you know, uh, hubcaps are facing the same direction. Then the other feature is the vehicle inside of a vehicle. So you pull this out and you get a little flying device for Batman. So this was always the best way to put Batman in and this um, his like his little seat belt contraption is how you get Batman in and out of this. And it's on a spring it's to keep the figure in so if you turn it upside down uh, Batman won't go flying out but he sits in here very well. And again with the plastic or the uh, plastic the cloth cape sometimes they do get bunched up and yes I would take the cloth capes off and I know in the last Batman review, I said, oh, I never liked doing that because I want to have my Batman with a cape on. Uh, generally, I would take the, this nice cape off of this Batman and one of my other multicolored Batmans, I would <laughs> put him in there. So we get Batman in the car. He doesn't want to sit in very well that way, so I wanted to be able to show you uh, the best way to get him in get them in and out that way but it's really kind of a pain to get the canopy inside the car and to open up the door because batman has got to be able to get his head back past this point as i have it off of film i apologize for that so get batman's arms up bear with me here and get him in the car so it's always kind of weird to tuck, tuck down the cape and all that type of stuff but you got to get him snuggled down in there and then the canopy will close and you can see Batman is in the inside of the car. So I always thought that was really cool. And you get him down far enough that you can pull him out. But I always had a hard time making sure I got him in. So this could slide out. Then you have the wings that will, you know, slide out. So you have this extra flying vehicle for Batman to kind of fly in this was never show accurate or anything like that so uh but this one also has an extra gadget it has a bomb under here so you push this silver tab or silver tab clear tab and it'll drop the bomb out so there's the bomb you drop the bomb on me uh, <laughs> out of the car and of course any of the batman figures from this line and I kind of emphasize that. We'll fit in here. Robin fits in very well. Um, it does work better normally to take the cape off. Um, again, uh, sometimes I used a different Batman uh, for this. The Jetpack Batman with the um, belt straps. And I will show that Batman in the next vehicle. Because that's where I really used uh, that Batman. Uh, but like I said, Robin does fit in here also very well. Robin's cape is a lot bigger and thicker than Batman's. So uh, you really have to kind of tuck it up underneath. And uh, some people would say, hey, well, why don't you just put Robin in his own vehicle? Oh, I do have the Robin Dragster. I just don't know where it is. And that is one of the most expensive vehicles that you can have um, that's worth uh, quite a bit of money. They didn't make very many of those, but Robin sets in here pretty well too. He always has a hard time with his head uh, just because of the cape. You've got to kind of really squish him down, but Robin can ride in the Batmobile just as easy as Batman can. And again, his head kind of gets in the way. Then it always kind of folds up the cape. So the Ninja Robin doesn't want to ride in this very well because his leg is bowed a little bit because of his stance. So you generally need a straight-legged character. Now, we had been looking most recently at the new Adventures of Batman. And as you can tell, this Batman is a lot taller. He will sit in here, but he has a hard time getting down. Get down! And get to the chapel. But his arms are out so <laughs> wide that he really doesn't want to set in there. So trying to get his arms through this narrow spot does take a little extra finesse to do. 
he will go in, but it gets really, really tight. So your best bet is to put Batman, put this piece in first, and then put this Batman in and he will sit in just fine. So again, off film, but you have to really kind of work to get his arms in there. Now this Batman does have his own Batmobile from the redesign. I never picked that one up, mainly because I just had this classic Batmobile, so I never really bothered with the new adventures of the new Batman adventures. See, I still can't say that right. Batmobile. I've kind of thought about getting it so I had both Batmobiles from the animated series, but there you go. This has been a look at the Batmobile from the Batman animated series. It rolls still very well. Uh, the tires still spin very, very well. And uh, looks really nice having Batman just standing out beside the car. And uh, just kind of really brings you back to the Batman animated series. And when I have my figures standing up, I usually have the Batmobile kind of in the back. And I usually try and have this Batman and some of the uh, other heroes and villains out and around the Batmobile. It's a nice little uh, focal point. So hopefully maybe some of you have this. I know uh, some of my fellow YouTubers, as they've been watching this video series, go, Oh, I used to have that one. Oh, I used to have that one. Oh, why did I sell that? I was somebody that kept uh, some of my older toys, and I'm really glad that I did. And these are some of the crowning pieces of my collection that I'm very proud to have on display. So today we've been taking a look at the 1993 Batmobile from the Batman Animated Series line, brought to you by our good folks at Kenner. So, as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogues and the Batman Universe signing off saying we will see you guys next time.